You're cruising along, everything seems fine, then suddenly, your engine starts revving on its own. No input from you, no obvious reason, just that unsettling roar under the hood. It can be downright unnerving, especially when you don't know what's causing it or whether it's safe to keep driving. Now, engines don't just rev up for no reason. Something is telling it to push more fuel and air through, and your job is to figure out what's behind it. Could be something simple, like a sticky throttle body or a vacuum leak letting air slip past where it shouldn't. Maybe the idle control valve is acting up, or worse, an electronic issue is messing with your engine's commands. Before you panic, watch the video to learn the most common culprits behind an uncontrolled revving engine and how to track down the trouble. But just before we start, please ensure you've subscribed to the channel. Vacuum Leaks Normally, the throttle body and plate regulate how much air enters the engine's intake for combustion. However, vacuum leaks bypass this control, letting unmetered air slip in. This extra air often causes the engine's RPM to rise unexpectedly. The only real fix is to track down and repair the leak. You can do this through a careful visual inspection or by using a smoke machine to detect escaping air. Throttle Body Issues if your vehicle's engine starts revving on its own or holds higher RPMs longer than it should, there's a good chance the throttle body is the culprit. This is especially common when the throttle plate sticks inside the bore due to excessive carbon buildup. Over time, this grime can cause the throttle to hang open slightly, leading to unintended acceleration or unstable idling. Keeping the throttle body clean is one of the best ways to prevent this issue. Regular maintenance helps stop carbon from accumulating and keeps the throttle plate moving freely. Stuck EGR Valve An engine's EGR valve controls the flow of exhaust gases back into the intake for further combustion. Ideally, it should only open when the engine is warm and under load. However, if the valve gets stuck, it can cause a high or erratic idle. In many cases, cleaning off built-up carbon deposits restores its function, but if the valve is failing electrically, replacement may be necessary. Inoperative fuel injector. A fuel injector must be kept in optimal condition to ensure proper fuel atomization. If a fuel injector fails or becomes clogged, various secondary symptoms can appear, with one of the most noticeable being erratic RPM fluctuations, particularly at idle. If fuel injectors are suspected as the cause, they should be tested promptly using a bi-directional scan tool. In many cases, clogged injectors can be restored through careful cleaning. Fouled spark plugs. Each spark plug in an engine must be correctly gapped and free of fouling to ensure optimal performance. If even one becomes fouled or damaged, engine efficiency suffers, often leading to erratic idle and RPM surges. Spark plugs should be replaced according to the manufacturer's recommended schedule and regular inspections are advised to catch potential issues before they affect performance. Malfunctioning IAC Valve When a vehicle is idling, the throttle body remains completely blocked, with the throttle plate resting in the closed position. A small amount of air is allowed through a dedicated passage to sustain idle operation. This airflow is regulated by the idle air control IAC Valve, which ensures the engine receives the correct amount of air when the throttle is closed. If the IAC Valve malfunctions, the engine can experience an abnormally high idle while in park. To diagnose the issue, the IAC valve's electrical circuitry must be properly tested to confirm it is functioning correctly. Additionally, carbon buildup on the IAC pintle is a common problem and requires periodic cleaning to prevent erratic idle behavior. Faulty sensors. Modern vehicles are equipped with numerous sensors designed to optimize performance and efficiency. When one of these sensors fails, it can lead to noticeable RPM surges or, in the case of a faulty crankshaft or camshaft position sensor, cause tachometer malfunctions. Other critical sensors include the mass airflow sensor, coolant temperature sensor, and throttle position sensor. Fixing throttle surges caused by sensor failure typically requires replacing the defective sensor. Diagnosing these issues involves reading trouble codes, conducting visual inspections, and analyzing freeze-frame data to pinpoint the source of the problem. Identifying the source In almost every case, unexpected engine revving is caused by one of three key issues – irregular air intake, inconsistent fuel delivery, or faulty spark distribution. Experienced mechanics rely on this fundamental principle when diagnosing such problems checking the condition of each of these critical systems as a whole. By following the same approach, you can isolate the issue to either air, fuel, or spark. 
Once you determine which system isn't functioning correctly, the next step is to dig deeper and pinpoint the exact cause within that subsystem. Breaking the problem down like this makes troubleshooting far more efficient and prevents unnecessary complications. Hope the information was helpful. If so, please press the like button and subscribe to the channel.